This is the Pokemon Card Game Classic Collection Box, and with a price tag of $250, it's one of the most expensive Pokemon products ever released to retail. But this product is pretty controversial because of the price. Now, we're going to be opening the Japanese version of this product, but the English one goes for $400. That actually makes the English version the most expensive Pokemon card product ever released at retail. And inside this product is a sight to behold because everything seems to be super high quality. But not only that, inside you could find some of the greatest reprints of Japanese base set cards you've ever seen. So with all that being said, could the Pokemon card game classic collection box actually be worth the price tag? Well, like everything else, there's only one way to find out. All right, so with such a high price tag, is this thing really worth it? Well, let's find out right now. Um, so check it out. Right here, you'll see when you go to open it up, it's actually magnetically shut. So the, the thing is just really smooth opening and closing it. And then inside, of course, is where all the goodies are. And um, I, haven't, I haven't checked out any of this stuff yet, but we do have uh, leaf, fire, and water uh, energies at the top there for these. And then this has a really cool Pokeball on it. So uh, basically inside here, uh, this is really, really soft. I mean, it just looks high quality, uh, but these right here, I'm gonna pull out one at a time here, kind of show you guys, we're, we're gonna look closer at it uh, under the studio lights in just a second, but I just wanna pull these out here. So yeah, I mean, you can see like the stitching on here, the whole thing is designed to be like a super high quality product. Uh, of course, you got fire. I don't know if there's anything in these or not, but we're going to find out soon. And then we have water. Um, same idea. You know what I mean? Looks pretty nice. But we're going to see if this is actually worth it because everybody's talking about how expensive this thing is. Um, but right here, we have, what is this box? Oh my God, wait. So you see that? Yeah, it's it's reflective. Okay, so <laughs> feels heavy. Um, it feels like metal or I don't really know like you know what everything's made out of here but all i know is it feels really nice um so we'll check out what's in here as well in just a second but um i want to flip this over and show you guys what the actual play mat looks like but i also have some other stuff that was in the box but not inside of here so yeah um these were in the like shipping box and they weren't directly in here but uh it feels like there's a whole bunch of stuff in these so we're gonna open up one of these at the time i don't know you know, everything's kind of mixed in here. I don't really know exactly everything that comes with this, but we're going to check it out. But let's flip this over. All right, so we flip it over. Man, you're definitely balling out if you have this um, product and you bring the play. Like, because everything is just so high quality. Uh, but yeah, this is basically a play mat, but um, it's not just a mat. No, this thing is very sturdy and, like, it's pretty legit. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's go check out all these other things and see what's inside of um, all this stuff. So really quickly, I just want to show you guys this insert that was inside the box. Uh, it just says Pokemon Card Game Classic, and I think it lists everything that's in here, but I don't speak or read Japanese, so I can't really tell you guys anything, but feel free to check it out. All right, but I say we start with these side quest items. They were in the cardboard box, but not in the actual, you know, box of uh, TCG stuff. So I don't, I, like, I don't know what's in any of these things. Um, barely looked at the product online a little bit just to get an idea really don't know um i guess we'll just start with this one in the front here and uh yeah let's check it out so i guess this oh my god everything is all like fancy i don't know what that white circle means but uh it's just, yeah okay <laughs> let's see what happens i always feel so unprepared sometimes for this stuff because i i don't know what to expect but i like to go in kind of without knowing what's going on fully oh my did i just open this up upside down no okay all right here we go i almost just messed everything up oh my god we're starting off already with the fire Dude, okay, okay, these are not really a side quest. These are like a main quest here. Pokemon Card Game Classic. So it has this insert here. I guess it should, I don't know what it says. I don't know what that QR code does, but check it out. And it shows some of the cards that you could find inside of here. But all right, we're just going right to this part here. So basically this, uh, these are the decks. So you have the blast. Oh my God. Okay, hold up. <laughs> the cards look crazy. What is that hollow pattern? All right, tell you what. We're gonna we're gonna get back to this shortly. I think we gotta save this for a little bit, but Blastoise, Charizard, and Venusaur decks are in this one. We'll put that to the side for a second. We're gonna be checking out everything inside of this product, but first I wanted to let you know that I'm gonna be giving away one booster bundle of Paradox Rift to one subscriber. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. That's like the main attraction, all right? We gotta we gotta just chill out for a second. <laughs> like Let's do this one. Let's see what's let's see what's up with this. Okay. Uh, so is there was there a circle? This one doesn't have any circle or any. Oh wait, maybe it was on the inside part. 
No. There's no... I don't know. That one had a white circle. This one doesn't. Whatever that means. What does it mean, Pokemon? Okay. So this one, we're going to go like this, right? Why is everything so hard and difficult to do for right now? I don't understand. Okay. All right. I got it this time. Um, oh, it's the sleeves. Yo, they're all different. Sort of like... Uh, we got black, gray, and like a lighter gray. So... Ooh. Okay. Very nice. Dude, even the plastic, this is going to sound weird, but even the plastic feels high quality. It's not like thin plastic, if that makes sense. It's like, I know I'm talking about plastic here, but I'm being serious. It's like a thicker plastic. They're just trying to go all out with everything. Okay, so let's check these out. Oh my God, they're not resealable. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's check these out. It looks like, oh, these are the ones that I actually would use because you could see like, it's not cloudy, it's actually pretty clear here, so you can see like the actual card, which is really nice. But yeah, we just have basically, I guess, three different versions of these sleeves. We might have to use some of these in the video today because there are a ton of crazy cards. If you think it's just those three cards on top that you saw, it is not, it is way more than that. But these are the three different sleeves here. I mean, I like the idea of it, each one having like a different sort of like tint to it. But anyway, that was uh, one of those little things. All right, let's check out these. So yeah, this is um, a deck box. So basically the cards that you get in there, each one is basically a deck and you put them in here. Um, I don't think those you can use those officially, like in official tournaments or anything. Um, but I mean, you know, you get the idea. You can put everyone here. But is there anything else in here? Are there anything? Nope, nothing. Okay. So this one's empty. I don't know if any of the other ones have anything. But I mean, like, again, this is pretty nice quality. Feels really good. Then we have the water one up close again. You guys could check that out. I don't think anything's in this. Nope. Well, let's see if fire has anything. After this one, we're going into the, like, the big box with the uh, white Pokeball on it. That one's heavy. I don't know what that could be, but here we go. Okay, let's see. Yep. All right, so this one's empty, but yeah, all three of them. And here they are all together. Really nice. It's like very clean, elegant. It's just, you know, it's basic, but it looks nice. It's like you're showing up to play the TCG. You're you're like the you're like a businessman. You like pull up with like the big suitcase and like <laughs> like if you have if you bring this like it'd be really cool. But definitely everybody will be checking out like, yo, what is all this cool stuff you got? This is just too fancy. Like I feel like I'm going to open this up and there's just going to be like gold chains and stuff in this. Like this is, it's like, you know, obviously you can't feel it because you're watching the video, but like, like every little piece on this is just, it's not typical of something you, you know, you have with Pokemon, but let's, uh, let's pop the top on this sucker and, uh, let's see what we got under the hood. Oh, okay. We will need this to play the game. And this is actually really interesting because I was reading a little bit about some of the stuff in here. Specifically these uh, metal balls here. There's two of them. I'll tell you guys more about that in a second. But I guess we got to take these little plastic sleeves off the side there so we can actually get in here and see all the stuff. But we'll take this plastic off and then you have stuff obviously like your status counters, your, uh, your damage counters here. And these are, oh my god, these are, yeah, these are straight up metal. Um, and are these... One. Okay, so these ones are bigger too, and they feel heavier, which is interesting. But let me... Okay, we can actually open up one of these. Oh, yeah, this is... Yeah, this is... These are metal for sure. Uh, you can even see on the inside there where they painted it or coated it and whatever. Um, really nice quality. I mean, these are cool. Like, these are... These are no joke. Like, you put one of these down, especially that big 100 one, you're like, boom! Like, that's the table shakes. Um, so, yeah, you get these. Obviously, you have, like, poison and burnt here. Uh, it's cool. Throw it on, throw it on like a ring. There we go. We got the, yo, the fire one actually. Can I even fit that one? I don't want to get stuck on there. Can I do the pinky? I can do the pinky, but I just like a hundred percent chance to get stuck if I go down there. But yo, we could, we could, uh, all right. We, we got a couple rings. They're not rings. But anyway, this is the, the part that I thought was the coolest of all. Let me give you guys like a different view of this so I could show you. So basically you see these two metal balls you have here. Uh, typically when you play the TCG, you're going to need a coin. You might have noticed that there's no coins in here, but there's these metal balls. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to just like, you're going to let it roll down this little thing here and these indicate heads or tails. So I don't know, I guess what these two are for, but I would assume this is probably heads and this is tails maybe. Um, so I could try it out. I mean, I've never tried it. <laughs> Let's just see what happens. Oh. So what does that mean? Oh wait, maybe I'm supposed to do both of them at the same time. Let's try that. I don't know what that means, but I did it. If anybody knows, let me know down below in the comment section. That's kind of interesting though. Um, 
what I, you know what I mean? Like, what if the table? I'm just trying to. I'm just gonna throw this out there, because it's. I mean, you know, what if? What if? I'm just saying. What if the table's a little crooked? Maybe not that much. That's kind of crazy. But you know, you ever sit down at a diner or a restaurant? You're like, oh my gosh, this is annoying. The table's like moving. Like, what if it's just like that a little bit? You know, and that maybe would. I don't know, help you get tails or heads if you want it one or the other more and kind of just goes down. Okay, well, it didn't work at all. Maybe it has to be level to work. It, I think it has to be. It has to be pretty close to level to work. Let me see. Sorry, I'm just doing this so many times. Uh, it was. I have it up a little bit off the table, like barely like a centimeter or two. Anyway, that's it. Now, with that out of the way, this is where the true craziness of this whole thing begins uh, with these decks of cards here. They're very unique and they're really, they just, they look cool. Um, but let's open up the Blastoise one first because it was there first. Pulling the wrap off. These are the goods. I would assume this is a lot of how they kind of decided to make it as expensive as it is because of all these cards. And there's not just going to be one hollow on the front here. It's going to be better than that. But all right, here we go. Man, look at this. <laughs> look at this. The pattern on here, I've never seen before on a Pokemon card. But it is like such a cool hollow pattern. It, it's just like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's very sparkly. It's like they took this star pattern and they just put it everywhere. And it's even on the borders, which makes this card honestly look cooler than the original. Yeah, I said it. You might think it might, maybe it's a little tacky for some people, but... I like the borders. I think they look really good and they make it, the card pop. Even from back here, you could just see the card looks so shiny. But anyway, that's just the Blastoise. We gotta be careful. Oh my God, here we go. They did them all. They did them all. I think every card in here is a hollow. I'm not 100% sure, but you can't tell me that doesn't look, that looks really good. That, that just like pops so nicely. We've got Squirtle. We got another Squirtle. Cause again, remember this is for playing, well, not official tournaments, but you know what I mean. They're just set up as a deck to play the game. So we got War Turtle Man, and these are original base set reprints. I don't know if I mentioned that. I think I did. But these are original base set reprints, sort of. I don't know. They definitely probably... I don't know, actually. Did they change the damage and stuff on these? I'm actually not sure. No. Maybe it's the same as it used to be. I don't know. I'll check. I'll, I'll look in a minute after we go through this. But we got the Suicune. I think this is official. Oh, my God. Look at that. I think that this is, well, this one doesn't have that pattern on the other card, like the other cards have, but this is, I guess, specifically, it's called the Blastoise and Suicune deck, but it gets crazier. There's another War Turtle. I think, oh my gosh. Oh, here we go, dude. So, it's not all just base set, it's a whole bunch of other sets, too, and there's even a Vending Series card in here from the Vending Series. Like, you don't see those. It's crazy. Um, oh my god, so this one though doesn't have the gold borders. Interesting. So it's like the silver borders on this one. Maybe just the starters have that. Dude, but every card with this pattern is nuts. Every card. Look at Starmie. Yo, Magikarp too. Oh my god, it looks fire. Yo, this is Heart Gold Soul Silver. Or I think it is. Or Call of Legends. You can tell from the border. From it being like that frayed sort of border. Oh my god. Wait, why? Dude, the Gyarados? No way! Yo, these, this, oh my god, dude, these, they really justified, I think, the price from all these crazy reprints. Like, these are actually nuts. What? And there's so many. This is just a, yo, more, more Heart Gold Soul Silver or whatever era this is. I think it's Heart Gold Soul Silver. Oh my god, look at this Lapras. Yo, we got Fossil in here. Wait, what? Nobody told me about that. I'm sorry, guys. I had no idea. I thought it was mostly base set. This is actually crazier than I thought it would be. Articuno from Fossil is it is reprinted in here, bro? Nobody told me this. I didn't know this. How would I know? I told you guys I don't look at stuff like ahead really that much. Just a little bit to get an idea. Drowsy, Hypno. Oh my God. And I don't know all that. Like what's each card's from what set? Unless there's like a copyright day. No, I don't think so. I don't think. Oh my God. That's it. Okay, okay. I did see this. I did see this. I saw people tagging me in this. Guys, this is actually cool. I know, I know. It's Mr. Mime. Just hold on a second. Just bear with me here. This right here is the vending series, okay? And it's one of the coolest original old school, like super. You got to go back so far just to be able to like have these cards out in the wild, like from back in the day. Uh, this is Mr. Mime artwork of one of those 
from the vending series. Like they went with Mr. Mime. How they how they decide on that? Hmm. 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 Uh, maybe it's coincidence. You know, it's probably coincidence. Probably coincidence. Definitely not Pokemon trolling. Mm -mm. Mewtwo. What? I thought. I don't know. We're going psychic now. Well, we we were for the last couple cards, but. I'm sorry. I really didn't know any of this stuff was in here. I really didn't know all this was in here. I thought it was mostly base set. This is crazy cool. Oh my god, they got Jim in here? I I promise you, I really didn't know this. This is so sick. Oh my god. I can't believe they reprinted all these cards. Well, not really reprint. I mean, it looks great, way different, obviously. Radicate also from Jim Heroes? Kangaskhan? I think this is a more recent set. I feel like this is like XY Sun and Moon artwork. I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh my god, what? Okay, now we're at tra wait. Oh, I thought that had texture for a second. It kind of does the Pokeball a little bit. Oh my god, a classic dude. Computer search base set. This is so cool to go back and see this. And I'll, obviously this is Japanese. They're doing an uh, English release of this too. I think within a couple weeks it comes out. So um, if you guys want to see the English one too, let me know. I know we're doing the Japanese one. It's going to be pretty similar, but honestly, not really. Because these cards in Japanese look a lot different than in English, I feel like. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see that, let me know. Because I kind of want to get one and open it. But anyway, so we got our, a lot of um, trainer cards and stuff. Oh my god, this is only the first deck. We got Professor Oak in here too. So I guess any like older reprints maybe are, are gold bordered. I don't know. It's what it kind of seems like something like that oh my god look at all the professor oaks that's so cool i got four of them yo fisherman oh man what's this from oh. there's so many cards that i've pulled right like in those sets and i just can't remember what each you know what each one's from but i want to say this also might be like x and y um oh, giovanni that's kind of recent i think bill Harkold soul silver oh my god what Dude, that's like the updated version of the classic from base set. So they went with the updated one, which honestly, this one looks pretty sick. Like the, the one of re, redone version or whatever from the classic. Um, so we got four of those. We got Team Rocket as well. So they also did this one in Celebrations, uh, originally from Rocket Returns, then the Celebrations, then to the classic collection. Uh, we got a double colors energy with the gold around it. So maybe that's a reprint of base energies and all the... Dude, oh my god, these are fire. Yo, I'm, I don't know. Do you think it's... I don't know. What do you think of the like the price? So, the price of this is around $250 in, in Japanese at the mark, at the price that MSRP. If some, you know, reselling, they're doing like $450 for the Japanese ones. So, they're like almost double what the MSRP is. The English ones are around $400. And, uh... So it's about the same, I guess. But like, that's a lot for one thing, but you kind of get a lot. Like these are really cool cards. Um, all right, so that's the first deck. Oh my gosh, that was just the first one. All right, we got to save Charizard for last. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. We just have to. All right, we'll do Venusaur deck. And then it's it's like the Venusaur and whatever other Pokemon EX is in here deck is I think what it officially is called, but I'm gonna just call it the Venusaur deck. Oh my God, this is sick. And however you feel about reprint type cards of originals and stuff, just let me know in the comments. I know some people like it, some people don't like it, some people are kind of in the middle. I think it's really cool when they do it like this, where it's actually a lot different than the original. Um, the hollow pattern, the gold strip around or silver, the different, you know, uh, type text and stuff down there and, and etc. I think it's cool that way. We got Venusaur though. Sorry, I, I got to give you some more attention. <laughs> Sorry, Venusaur. Bulbasaur, yo. That looks so cool with that hollow pattern. That's an original, like, background or, like, artwork. With that pattern, it makes it look so different. All right, we got Bulbasaur. Should have uh, Ivysaur coming up. Yo, there it is, the classic. That's sick. Lugia, so it's Venusaur and Lugia deck. Um, but, yeah. Okay, we got Lugia in here, too. And then it just goes right back to Ivysaur. Oh, my gosh. What's that? Wait, this is EX era, right? Era? What other EX Era cards are we gonna get? I'm sorry, I just don't, I just really, really, really didn't know. Like, I was not expecting all this from all these different sets, so. Oh, what? Yo, oh, hold up. Jungle, Scyther, freaking reprint. 
Hell, it's like we're at a whole different like type of Pokemon. Like just, I don't know how they do stuff. Like Pokemon's never really reprinted anything from anything but base for the most part, I feel like, right? So it's kind of weird to see it. Uh, besides like celebrations and stuff where they kind of broke out of it a little bit. But I like how it's just not a, just a carbon copy, like that they actually make them really unique to this. Sand Slash as well, Onyx, Hitmon Lee. Hitmon Chan, Do Duo. Wow, that's a cool artwork. Man, I, I really remember a lot of these cards pulling them in different sets. I just cannot tell you. I could not tell you what set this would be from, like, at all, but it looks cool. Going back again, more Heart Gold Soul Silver. So this one's actually kind of looks less sparkly for some reason. I guess maybe it's just the artwork and how it kind of is popping through there, but not as much. Original Chansey. All right, base set. That's the original. Oh, Snor. See, I know where that one's from, though, because I just opened I opened a bunch of those. That's from the mini sort of tins. Not really mini tins, but tins from, like, uh, Dollar Store, whatever you want to call it, Dollar General. Uh, like the box topper or the tin topper, whatever you want to call it, is that one. Uh, they have them at Walgreens, too, I think. But we got our trainer cards. I wonder. Yeah, okay, so computer search again. Okay, so a lot of these are probably similar. Uh, maybe not exactly the same. Oh my god, I, like I know I'm going quick on these. I, I should really slow down on these. Yeah, I should probably slow down. These are really cool. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Even the uh, even the trainer cards look sick with uh, this hollow pattern and the borders. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they're doing it right with this. Uh, Professor Oak, so we should have four of these again, right? Yep. <clears throat> okay, we did, we did not 100%. E -ser oh my gosh, E-Series, uh, couldn't tell you which one. Aquapolis, maybe? I'll go Aquapolis. I'd go Aquapolis. Yeah, I'm going to guess Aquap. Man, it could be Expedition. Maybe it's Expedition. I don't know. But that's crazy. There's an E-Series card in here. It looks completely different, obviously, because of, like, you know, it. I like how they left it like that because they could have just changed it. And like similar with the hardcore Soul Silver ones with the different borders and stuff, I like how they kept it how it originally was. I think that's cool. It kind of gives it like a little bit more charm, like to the actual set, uh, than just all cards being like the same stock or whatever. Uh, not stock, but you know what I mean. Like same like layout design. Giovanni, nice. Bill, Bill, Bill Nye, the science guy. And then we got these. And then we got our energy start with double colorless reprints from whatever set it is. And well. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh, these are cool. Okay, the energies are just like, they just look good with this. Everything, just everything looks good with this hollow pattern. All right, fighting energies too. Sweet, all right. You know what, I'm not gonna lie. Like, this is probably the coolest special product release this year. I'm trying to think, like, the holly calendars are cool. You know, the Halloween cards are cool. Uh, what else? I don't know, it's a bunch of things. But uh, like this, for me, like going through these cards is actually really fun like i don't know it's just there's so many good cards in here um that it's just kind of like and then the nostalgia attached to it and the really cool hollow pattern stuff and how many cards there are there's like 180 i guess i mean that's a lot of hollow card like that that's a lot of shiny cardboards what i'm trying to say there it is the charizard himself oh my god is that a no i thought it was is it Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> no, dude, I'm upset about that. I'm genuinely upset. There's, um, there's, oh my god, it's literally only on the Charizard, dude. Why? Ah, uh, no, and it's a little bit on the Charmanders. The both the, oh my god. Oh my, why, 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 why this one? I don't know if you guys can see it. Right down there, there's like a ding. It's like a, it's a bend, basically, so that would automatically drop it to like a six condition. Oh, no. That one's a. Nah, all right, whatever. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Can't complain. This is a really cool experience. You know what I mean? This is really, really cool to be able to do this. So, can't complain. We got Charmander looking super cool as well. Oh, these look sick. Oh, that one. Yeah, that one has a little bit maybe. Charmeleon. Why on these ones? Why? Like. Charmeleon, oh, ho ho. -Oh. So basically, this is the Charizard uh, ho ho deck, is what it's called. This one's sick. <laughs> They're all sick. This one's sick. Oh, man. Dude, that. Oh, 
I gotta stop thinking about that. That actually bummed me out, but whatever. It's, I, it's fine. Whatever. I don't care. I do care, but <laughs> it's just like that. It had to be that one. Like it could have been like maybe some of the energies. Like I don't know. There's like ten energies in every deck. Rapidash. Oh, we got a fossil reprint, and it's Magmar. That's a true OG fossil card right there. Like that. Uh, that just thinks. I just think of fossil when I see this Magmar. The base set Pikachu is back. Okay. The base set Pikachu is always... That's like a classic. Like, you're going to go with the classic Pikachu, the most classic Pikachu. It's this one. Raichu. Oh, man. Is that like Bernie? Sh I don't know. Me, I can't remember what set. I'm not even going to say it. Voltorb. All right. Also, base set reprint. Electrode as well. Very nice. Man, that one's super sparkly. All right. Zapdos. Very cool. I, I feel like I should know this. I don't remember, but... I mean, they look really good, man. Every card looks sick. We got Clefairy in there as well. Oh, my God. I have so many cards to sleeve. <laughs> we got Clefable from Jungle. Jungle reprint. All right. All right I see Clefable. E-Series. Uh, Right? I don't know. Is that an E-Series card? No, no, not EX card. EX era card. E no, not E-Series. I'm saying E-Series. EX era thing. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, man. Dude, look at the moon in the background on this one. Miltank, let's go. All right, Miltank, I see you. Chilling. We got our trainer cards now. Okay. Let's see which one we got. Yeah, I could talk. Which ones we got in here? They seem like they might be exactly the same, actually, but I'm not 100%. I think so. I think they're exactly the same on the trainers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. This is, like, one of the coolest looking ones. Just a classic Pokeball with that background. That was not... Okay, it's a little different. I lied. Because that was not in the other ones. But we need that, obviously, because it's a fire deck. Professor Oak. We did have these. So that's very slightly different. Almost exact, actually. We got Bill. Bill. Bill Nye, the science guy. All right, let's keep going through these. And then we should hit our energies here. And, um... The fire energies as well. What do you guys think? I don't know. Kind of changed my opinion about it a bit after opening it up. Really being able to see all the cards that it comes with. It's still really expensive. If you get the Japanese version at the actual price that they it's supposed to be at, which is almost, I feel like, very, very, very difficult for 250 I think that's really good. 400 is a ton of money for one of these, though. Either way, price aside, this was really, really cool. I actually had a lot. I think this might have been probably the most fun i've had opening up a special set this year um the uh ultra premium collection box was really cool too that was pretty close to this one but for me i think this one takes the cake i think it does all right guys that is gonna do it thank you so much for watching the video let me know what you think of this product down below in the comment section and if you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button on your way out if you want some more content click on one of the two videos at the top there hit that subscribe button as well and as always i hope you have a great day and i will see you on the next one